guys so I've drawn out the design for my blouse and um, let me talk you through it quickly before we go to the tutorials so um, this is the front bit of the uh, of the design and that is the back bit um, this highlighted portion shows you it's gonna have contrasting fabric basically and um, I'm gonna be using Ankara to make um, this this blouse so what you want to do is draft your pattern cut it out which I've done already I've drafted my pattern and I've cut my pattern out I'll need to f um, place my fabric on fold to cut out one piece of the front bit and I'll make sure I transfer my dad onto onto the, the the fabric as well so I'm gonna cut one piece of this and one piece of the lining transferring all my dads I'm gonna do the same for the back but I'm gonna I don't need to place the back on fold because I need to cut two pieces of the back so I'm going to cut two pieces of those back and I'm going to place my transfer my darts onto the pieces as well. Um, I'm going to cut two pieces of my sleeve on fold as well. So two pieces of my sleeves on fold. And I'm also going to cut three pieces of my layered, um, of this layered bit basically. The length I'm going to be using is going to be, so from here to about here is going to be about 42 inches. And from here to about here is going to be roughly, um, I think it's going to be about 8 to 9 inches for this. Then add 4 inches all the way down. So I'm going to cut all this out and show you what I've done. And um, before I forget to mention, yeah, this contrasting bit of fabric, I'm going to cut a strip of this. So I'm going to cut two actually. One for the front and one for the back. I'm going to cut another two for the um for the armhole so the, the the armhole one can be all the way round doesn't need to because the fabric is on fold already so make sure the one you the piece you cut is going to be on fold as well so it's it runs all the way without any um extra stitches showing so let's cut that and get ready to stitch it up this um to make this blouse what you need is to cut out your front bodice pattern so that's my front bodice pattern and um, um, I've cut it on the lining bit as well and I've drawn out my darts which I'm going to be transferring onto my fabric since my fabric is colored I'm going to be using a white chalk to transfer that um, transfer the darts onto the fabric and I've also cut the back bit which has one dart as well as you can see I left an extension to the back because I'm going to be adding a zip and I want to have a very clean finish for the zip so I've added that bit there so um, what I've done as well is to cut two strips of um, a contrasting fabric which is going to be by the waist or rather just on the waist then I've cut two pieces for my sleeve with um, two contrasting strips of fabrics as well. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use that for. So what I've done as well is to cut out um, 42 inches long in length of um, fabric, which I'm going to use to create the pleats on the side. So what I have, oh, um, create pleats just at the bottom rather not on the sides. So um, I've got two strips of this fabric, of this particular one, and I've got two of this, but I'm going to cut this particular one into, I'm going to cut that into two as well. So I'm going to, I just want to have three layers of fabric at the end of the day, three layers of um, pleat fabric at the end of the day, just below the waist. So I'm making this for my sister-in-law. So... Um, Hopefully it turns out fine and it suits her. Um, I'm going to start uh, attaching the pieces together. And um, as I progress, I'll let you know how I get on and show you the video. Thank you. So guys, once you're done stitching up your, um, your darts, like I've done, I've done it for my main fabric and my lining as well. So what you're going to do is place all the pieces right sides right sides together so the right side of your fabric should face the right side of your lining 
and you pin so for the back we'll start with the back first i've placed it in such i remember i i added like extra inches for for my fabric for my main fabric i added i added extra inches that's why this gap is here so what i'm going to do now is to stitch all the way from here all to about here on both sides i'm going to do it for this one as well then we'll continue from there guys the next step will be to um once you've sewn this bit from here to the end you need to pull basically you need to pull this bit to join to this bit and this bit to join to this bit that's what you want then you align everything and you pin that's what you want to do grab my pins so you're going to hold it just at the end where the shoulder starts and you place your pins place your pins here place your pin there you can decide to place pins around here but I'm fine this way so you do this for both sides and I'll show you the next step so once you're done pinning the back this is what you should have for both sides and uh, for the front as well you need to place the fabric in such a way the fabric and the lining together right sides facing each other and you align everything perfectly and pin so I'm going to sew along here from here all the way around to there that's what I want to sew and I'm going to do the same for this I'm going to sew from here to about here all the way there and I'll show you the next step once you're done um, stitching around the neck of your your um, right side and your wrong side you need to turn it right side out and iron it down properly like I've done I've ironed mine down properly then you lay both sides right sides together and stitch the shoulder bit that bit stitch it together so guys the next thing you want to do is um, take the strip of fabric which you cut for your armhole and you're going to place it around your armhole right sides together and pin it all the way around do the same for the other side and we'll stitch it down and i'll show you the next step guys the next thing i'm going to do is um place the the, the strips i cut for the um the waistline and pin them through and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to run a stitch all across here as well with the right sides facing each other you can see how i've ironed down the the section i added on the armhole and uh, it's laid down flat so i'm going to do the same for the front bit and i've attached the ones to the back as well so i'm going to stitch this iron it down and i'll show you what i did next we'll be to add our peplum flared bit to our bodies so um you need a fabric you need six fabric cut with length of 42 depends on what size you are though so uh, basically you just need enough to create to be able to create your pleats um, so my width um, length of fabric is 42 but it, I've placed it on fold then you've got three layers I've got this one two and three that's the third layer in terms of length, this particular bit here is about 4 inches, the next one is about 6.8 inches, 6.9, then the other bit is about 10 inches. So you just need to have enough fabric to create the layers as you please. So after getting the right um, length and pieces of fabric that you need, you need to create pleats for them. I've created my pleats and I've pinned them all through. I hope you can see pleat so that's a pleat this is a pleat this is a pleat so I've created my pleat and I've laid them all together yeah so the that's that that pleat's already done for my front bit so what I'm gonna do for my back piece is to fold it into two equal halves and I'm gonna cut it into two equal halves because I'm gonna be attaching zip to it so guys the next step I'm gonna do is to um all the bottom bit of my pleats so after I've pinned up my pleats this way I'm just going to hem the bottom bit so you just fold it twice and run it through your machine for all the bottom bits you've um, created pleats for
so guys once you're done um stitching up the hem of your of your flayed bottom um what you're going to do is gather it a bit and attach it right sides together to the um to the top bodies for the back for the two sides and for the front as well so attach it and um you remember the 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 different color you attach to your top you need to ensure that it's at least when you stitch it it at least shows just half an inch or thereabout on the on the top because the essence is to create a little bit of contrast on this design so i've done that and i've also attached my zip i'm sorry i didn't show you how to do it but um there are videos on how to attach zips on youtube so uh, i'm sorry about that do you forgive me but anyway um that's that for now so i'm done this is what you should have so guys this is what you should have um i've done it this way because i want to be able to sew on the sides rather than have to join the the flayed part after sewing so this is what you want to have by the time you're done fixing your zip fixing the um the um bottom flayed bait the three layered flay bait and um, if you notice for the three layer they're all every all the sections of the three layer are stitched with this section here so you want to make sure everything is stitched here so the what you do first of all is place Place the lower, the, the longer uh, flayed bottom, you need to place it on first. Place the second flayed bottom, then place the third flayed bottom. You can run a very large stitch on them to gather them a bit if it's too big. Then attach it right sides together to your to your top bodies and so That's what you want to have. So at the end of the day, this is what we're, we're left with. So the, the only thing left for me now is to join the two sides together and uh, my sleeves as well so i'm going to show you what i'll do next guys okay, so what i've done is i've pinned um the sides together and i've flipped the the dress the top right sides out just to emphasize some points to you so you want to make sure when you pin all these um points match when you pin so flip it right sides out and check before you stitch this is what you should have once you're done turning your fabric right sides wrong sides back out um those are my pins i'm going to run a stitch on the side straight down um, with this way it'll be easy for me a lot easier for me to alter if i need to when my customer tries tries it on so um, i've done it this way in order to save myself a lot of time and effort so i'm going to run the stitch now and i'll show you what it looks like next step will be to create the sleeve so i have my sleeve cut out which is this one i have two two of those then i've got two of those which is this and this so basically you need to measure um around your your armhole just to know how long your band will be mine should be 16 so i'm going to cut just at that point where the scissors is i'm going to cut this two at that point so what i've done is you need to use your iron and press this down four times i'll show you what i've done so if you open this up this is what you have you fold it once on this side fold it once on this side press it down then fold it into two equal halves so once you have all that ready i'll show you the next step so guys the next step would be to insert the sleeve what i've done is i gathered my sleeve because my sleeve is slightly bigger than the band the the arm band so i've gathered my sleeve and i've chucked it into the band so i'm gonna pin this then i'm gonna run my stitch from here all the way here make sure you tuck it in real well so that you you stitch it properly okay so i'm gonna stitch that and i'll be back <laughs> 